This is a quick guide on how to set up Recount. Main function of Recount is to act as a DPS meter. It can also show other useful information, total damage done, as well as healing done. As I've already got Recount set up on this profile, I'm going to reset it to default now. To do this, press Escape to open the game menu, go to Interface, and down to Recount. Toggle the drop down box, go to Profile, and reset. This is what Recount will look like when it's first installed. To set up Recount, click on the Config button to open the Config window, and I'm going to move my Recount window down to where I want to put it. You can click the edges to resize Recount. Once I'm happy with where the Recount window is, I'm going to go into Window and Lock Windows. Now I can't click and drag it and accidentally move it. First thing I'm going to do, get rid of the close button and set row spacing to 0 and I'm going to increase row height to 15 which changes the font size. Now over into colour, I'm going to change the title background colours and also the background colours have got a slight grey tint, I'm going to remove that. Next, over in appearance Swap text and bar colour, I have that enabled. Scroll down in the texture selection. This is the texture I use and that's the font I use. Now I've enabled swap text and bar colour. Go back into colour and set bar text to just off of black. Now you'll see a bit of a highlight over the top and bottom of the bar texture. That's why I use that particular bar texture, just because it helps to differentiate each row. Next, I remove per second from the damage done window, because I just use the DPS window. Also, if you have a look up the top left, this is an example of what it will look like. I use short for number format, just to make it easier to read. Next up, in modules, there's quite a lot of different windows in Recount. To simplify it a little bit, I remove anything that I don't need from this list here. While most of Recount's features are for raid groups, I think it's still helpful to be able to keep an eye on stats like DPS while questing and doing dungeons. There's a ton of features in Recount. For hunters, you might want to separate yourself from your pet so that you each get your own bar. Something else that's also handy is instance-based deletion. When you enter an instance, it'll ask you if you want to reset the data and recount. If you don't want it to ask and just do it automatically, you can remove confirmation and it'll do it automatically. Also, particularly for raids, you might want to keep only boss segments. One feature of Recount I find particularly handy is being able to open up the detailed damage window and have a look at how much damage each of my attacks are doing and how much they're critting as well. When you're figuring out your abilities, come here and have a look at the damage they're doing and use this information to help you to prioritise which abilities to use. Also up the top there's a summary report by clicking on the magnifying glass. Here you can see more detailed information, particularly how your secondary stats, like crit or dodge, are affecting your overall damage output and intake. It's also really handy and important if you're tanking to come here and have a look at the incoming damage and see how much of it you're mitigating. And there's also some useful information in here for healers as well. If you're in a party and anybody asks if you've got damage meter, you can always report DPS to your party by clicking on the horn icon and selecting which group to report to. It'll normally be instance group. Check the box and hit report. When you're in a group you can get real-time data on DPS or healing. Just make sure you unlock your window to be able to move the real-time chart. This can be useful to show burst damage or burst healing. Lastly there's an add-on that puts recount onto Titan panel as a right side plugin which gives you access to some of Recount's features and it lets you double click the Recount icon to show or hide Recount. 
If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and cheers for watching.